Guyo Environment Team Europe did not come off the line well in Alicante. You do not get many chances at a start line here in the ocean race. You've got to push the line quite hard. And in these final 10 seconds here, who has got their approach right? Who has got their speed ready to start off in style? And it's Guyo Environment Team Europe coming into the shot as we look down the line and coming across the line superbly. A bit of a difference in sale choice between Guyo Environment Team Europe, Biotherm and Team Holson PRB with 11th Hour Racing Team. They have got their Code Zero filled up, but that's a good start for Robert Stanjek. Yeah. And the speeds are coming up, 17, 18 knots, just flashing up here. And compare that with Team Militia on the left-hand side, still in that lighter wind area from the start an area that we know they're going to have to sail back through. So the breeze is there, you've just got to find it. On board with Guyo Environment Team Europe, and they have opened up a big gap between themselves and 11th Hour Racing Team, not something that they did. Charlie Enright taking 11th Hour Racing Team higher and holding back Team Holson PRB, holding back Biotherm as well. This will be very happy news to Robert Stanjic, the skipper on board Guyo Environment Team Europe, and you can see now the lead starting to improve and improve. 55 meters now to the boat to Leward. The angle here is we are on board with Biotherm. What angle they are going to be able to sail into that first turning mark is going to be so crucial. And that first mark now coming into view. Where is Guyo Environment Team Europe? I think they have lost out. It's the boats to windward who've got the breeze first, that higher lane, even though it put them behind in the early stages of this first reaching leg. That means that they are now, at the moment, looking solid. If you're fans of Guyo Environment Team Europe, you'll be hoping they come into view on the left-hand side of your picture. And they are just out of shot. But look at Team Holson PRB with that big code zero putting the bow up at the moment, clearing their quarter from Biotherm. Team Holson PRB holding a high course at the moment. The mark to the left, and that is why Guyo Environment Team Europe are the boat on the inside. They have been able to hold on to that left-hand turn. They look set to turn on the inside, on the right-hand side of the picture. Team Holson PRB. Now going round, that code zero, it's still out. It's a late furl if indeed they're going to do it. And Guyo Environment Team Europe will be rounding Mark 1 in the lead. They held on to that left hand, that lured position, forcing the other two boats wide. That's put Team Holson PRB on the high line and has it opened the door for 11th Hour Racing Team as well. Team Militia round the back and you can actually see Rosalind Kuiper on the bow pulling. Physically pulling, not using the winch, physically pulling the leech of that Code Zero round. It's always tricky to get the Code Zero round the head sails because you've got the J3 and the J2 uh, to get the clue of that Code Zero round. And there's not much room between the J2 and the luff of the Code Zero. Uh, so it's pretty helpful in the light winds um, to actually run up there and use your body weight to help get that sail through. 11th hour racing team hoping for a smooth turn here just in front of them but wide of the mark so wide they've actually slipped out of shot is biotherm so a chance here for charlie enright to slip into that windward position and the exit positions from this mark sam are going to be important because they're going to be on this jive now for a while if you've got clear breeze it's going to be with you for well potentially the next 30 minutes or longer yeah niall because now they're they'll be heading in theory, unless someone's got some really radical strategy, <laughs> they'll be heading uh, slightly lower on this next leg as their um, goal now is to head south and eventually southeast once they get around this island. Team Holson PRB at the moment, they are locked into a bit of a battle with 11th Hour Racing Team. Sam, this battle raging on while both teams, it looks like, choosing what sails to put up. Yeah, um, I think they've both got the same choice there. It uh, looks like neither of those boats are carrying a spinnaker and they're both appealing to... Uh, as Abby said, the A3, it's the big Jenica, so it's a big overlapping sail that will be trimmed onto the, uh, what we call them, jockey poles uh, or outriggers uh, that are on the back of the boat. Um, it's always a tricky one, that peel. It's great because you can get it in line and you can hoist the two sails up at the same time. But the big uh, problem that you have to try and avoid is um, sucking one into another. So quite often it's <laughs> difficult to un or to deploy the new one before you fell the old one. So um, we'll see if they manage to carry that off uh, perfectly without pressure. And when you're two boats next to each other, it always adds a little bit of uh, pressure on to get, <laughs> to get that sail change perfectly. 
Oh, a one boat with, at least for the moment, a little bit of space to breathe is Guyo Environment Team Europe. They are out in the lead, leading the fleet away from Mindelo. All right, happy with the pail? Yep, happy with the pail. Yeah, it's happening now. Always easy to make a decision about what sail you're going to go for when your opponent just ahead goes for the same one. So Simon Fisher and Justine Latrue down below on the pumps. And there you can see that big baggy uh, Code Zero, the large downwind light wind sail being deployed now. And looking quite nicely on this wind angle. Now it's being uh, trimmed on. The old uh, J sail will be furled on the inside, clearing the breeze for this sail. But just as we go here to the lead leaders with Guyo Environment Team Europe, I, I know they've just gone out of shot, but you know, with behind them, Team Holson PLB and 11th Hour Racing Team, both of those boats looked like they were sailing quite high, neither one wanting to bear away. But Robert Stanjek and the crew on board Guyo Environment Team Europe look much freer off the breeze. I guess this is the advantage that comes with being in the lead and having a bit of, bit of clear air on your quarter. The race for second and third with Team Holson PRB in the lead at the moment with these two in second place and in third it's 11th hour racing team Sam Goodchild forward of the mast Kevin Escoffia on the helm as the race here continues in Cabo Verde not just for first but for second and third as well so we've got two boats we can see with spinnakers both um, and Guillo. Uh, and it looks like Holsim and 11th Hour don't have a spinnaker in their inventory. And I don't think Militia has either. It looks like they were on a, a big Jenica as well. So um, the next three days could be quite interesting to see if that makes a difference. Well, we're just seeing now Guyo Environment, Team Europe, and they haven't got any head sail up, a spinnaker, uh, a, an A sail, a J, or anything at all. Let's go down to Abby Ela on the water to find out what's happening. Yeah, interesting that those boats, both Guyo and Biotherm, that have opted to go for the soft sail spinnaker, chose to do it bareheaded, which means they'd obviously wound up the J, J Zero that they started the race with. Uh, and they've chosen to do the peel with no head sail up. I guess, as, as Sam pointed out earlier, that the winches on board are, are very limited. It, the, the cockpit is often just a pile of rope, and a peel is just one of the hardest maneuvers you can do on the boat, just in terms of the sheet organization, just managing the cockpit so that you have a clean, clean change. So I'm not surprised that they've chosen to do a bareheaded maneuver. Uh, Biotherm, although it took them some time to, to do that change, they've obviously uh, been able to soak a lot lower now, which you can see. Guillo looked to be having a little bit of a shocker with the spinnaker, but once underway, they'll be able to soak a lot lower than uh, Holsim and 11th Hour. Well, there's a good view of the overall positions from our boat. And the two boats to the right-hand side of your picture, Biotherm and Guyo Environment Team Europe, those are the two that are using the spinnakers, which is why we're seeing them sailing further south, further to the right-hand side of your picture. Team Holson PRB, 11th Hour Racing Team, and Team Militia at the moment all sailing with much more reaching sails, so sailing higher. There is some question about what the breeze is going to do on that coastline, a coastline that they have to go round, they have to pass on the leeward side of the islands of Cabo Verde on their way down south towards the equator. But obviously, Team Holson PRB and 11th Hour Racing Team are fighting it out and holding their course much closer to the breeze with Biotherm and Guyo Environment Team Europe happy to soak at the moment. Yeah, there's, there's two modes of sailing going on now, so it, it's hard to compare the boats. Um, they've obviously won, you've got this low VMG soaking mode with the spinnakers and the three boats with the flat sails having to sail higher speeds and they're going to have to cover more distance um, as they VMG downwind. We're going to come back to Abby in just a moment. They are repositioning to try and get an idea of what that breeze is like from the cliffs as we see now. Team Militia jibing behind. And a nice, smooth, clean turn for Team Militia at the moment in fifth place. 
But the positioning here, the angle that they are lining themselves up to pass these western headlands of Cabo Verde, so important. The team at the moment still pushing out to the west, not jiving right now. Team Holson PRB still pushing out, but we have got Abby Ela at the moment. Abby, what does it look like on the water? Guyo Environment Team Europe, they were leading of both turning marks, and now at the moment, they're around about in third place, but they think the middle of the track, to the right of picture at the moment, and to the east of Guyo Environment Team Europe, we have got 11th Hour Racing Team, and we have got Biotherm as well. Both of those teams thinking the further inshore course is where the breeze is going to be. The best sailors in the world, but there isn't too much agreement at the moment. And for all of our teams, as they are heading off now, that sun is coming down, the temperature is running out. All of our navigators here, all of our teams, they're going to have to play for their strength. They're going to have to work hard to make their boats work for them as leg two gets underway here in Cabo Verde. Just the beginning, the final 4,600 nautical miles still to go here all the way to Cape Town.